hi everybody welcome back to flutter mystery and today we continue with our login register page today we'll be doing firebase authentication so that a user can log in and register and then the app should um take notice of a particular user if you log in once that will be all you'll be logged in until you log out if you've not logged out you'll be logged in you close the app and open up and open and you'll still be logged in so that is what we are doing today today's episode um, is also longer but I, I took my time to do it in such a way that you will also understand you get me so um, I won't waste much time we just start and then move on um, but um, you know people watch the video they don't subscribe they don't like they don't comment so it makes me feel like maybe people don't like what I'm doing so please if you are really enjoying it if you like it subscribe to the channel you know that boosts me to do more videos anytime please subscribe and like and then press the notification bell so that you get notification anytime I do any video thank you and let's start so I was thinking about this thing how about we put um please register here and then when you click on the login it will write please login to you know let the user know where he is this is too plain and maybe someone might not know whether this is login or register so let's that's a very easy let's quickly do that yeah let's do that in the you know great input just after the logo then yes so yeah after the logo let's just create a new um a text which you say please login you see um we can let this is a style of font text style um, with font size of 20 let me bring it down font size of 20 will do let us not forget about our comments and let's copy paste one size box to leave a space between okay so let's do the same thing for our register page so let's come down after the logo and then let's paste that and it, it will be please register okay so you can run the app to see what we just did then we continue from there alright so the app is ready you click on the start now alright so this is what I'm talking about so now it is please log in and no account you register please register so this is what I'm talking about okay so from here <coughs> we, won't waste, we won't waste time let's create a new folder and call it tools we'll be putting in tools and let's create two files in here one will be mapping 
dot dart where start and then one will be authentication authentication hey <laughs> authentic 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 <laughs> authentication uh, that that anyway will go all right so after that what this mapping will be doing is that it will check the user to see whether you've already logged in or you have not if you've already logged in then it will take you straight to a startup page and the startup page contains our home page our cart page our other page and then account page you see with a bottom navigation so you can navigate through those pages so that page we will also call it a startup page a start up page dot that all right so we have the authentication and the mapping in the tools folder and then we have a startup page here so let's copy this the flutter material and import it in the startup page and let's create a stateful widget and then call it a start up page all right um when you leave it like this it will turn dark like how it did the other time so let's give it a body so that it will be a bit nice so a scaffold with a body and the body should be um, center for the meantime that's not we're going to use but something to and a child a child um, a child uh, a, a text in a new text text will do a text which says um start up okay so let's leave this for the meantime we'll come back to it but we created it so that from the register when you're able to log in it will take you here and then you know you've you've logged in successfully so from here let's start with our authentication all right this authentication will be holding our firebase authentication the sign in sign up current user sign out something you know just to log you in and log you out from firebase so that is what it will be doing so we will go to firebase and then when you go to firebase you press the console go to console or get started it will bring you here direct you see add product add project yes so when you see this i already have some project here so i'll add this project which we call it grocery app and then continue enable google analytics yes default account for firebase yes and then my project is being created so i will wait till it is done and then i continue All right, so your new project is ready. So I continue and the project is ready. So I'll click on my project, my grocery app, and it should open. All right, so now I am in. I have my authentication, database, storage, hosting, functions, and ML kits, and a lot of things. So I'll start with, we have iOS and Android. I am doing Android right now. So I'll start with that and the action of our package name. <clears throat> and to find your package name it's simple you go to your build.gradle 
yes i think so and yes this com dot bill dot grocery app yeah you find yours there just copy and then paste it here oh com bill why what is wrong com dot bill dot grocery app yeah okay oh it's minor okay external error so let's register the app okay so this page you will download the google service dot json and when you press it it should download so yes so it is done downloading and then i'll have to open the folder which it is in this is the folder i'll copy let me cut it and then take it to the folder that i am working from that is um f youtube grocery app you go to android app and then you paste it here all right so that's it so let's continue you go to next you copy this then go into your build.gradle this please then just after this you paste it you paste that here okay and then next this is already in the app it's already in the code section the vs code so we don't need to add it but this is not in it so you copy this and then go back to our app this side and just after this we paste it here then let's go back and copy this and come back here and here just after this we paste it here all right so if we are done we save it and then we go to next you know it's now checking so we will just skip and then go ahead and then from here we go to authentication get a setup sign in method and we are signing in for email and password we will enable that and then save so now it's enabled so let's leave this side for a while let's go to flutter.pub that is um pub dot leave the packages does yeah some of that thing where you get all the plugins and then look for firebase out this so we will install that and go to installing you copy this and then let's paste it in our pubsec.yaml this we will continue from here okay and then we add um firebase core i think it's also important we add firebase core installing okay so we copy that and then install it too okay but let's add this thing it's also important toast so that i will be toasting some messages and stuff so okay you just copy then install all right all right so from here we are starting from authentication and we need to import firebase package you see so let's go back here to the firebase dot out okay and then copy the import package code then come and paste it here okay so now let's start you create an abstract 
class which we call an out implementation like this and then we create a future string future string future string which we call our sign in so string email string password there are semicolon all right so let's copy paste this Now we change this to sign up. So we get our sign in and sign up. And then let's copy paste again. This time around, we are changing it to get current user. Get current user. And then the last thing. is going to be avoid call sign out here it will be avoid okay so from there we see class out implement out implementation and then it's gonna be final firebase out firebase out equals firebase out dot instance Okay, let's come back and then we say let's copy this I want the video to be faster not to waste time that's why I'm doing a lot of copy and paste so this sign in string email string password will async Async and then open this, and it's gonna be out result that is the user is equal to await Firebase out dot sign in with email and password this and the email is going to be our email how the password will be our password then we don't forget our semicolon like this okay it's it's very long let's break it down okay so the next thing let's copy this and paste this time around it's gonna be the sign up and this is not going to be signing with this but it's going to be create user 
create user with email and password the same thing yes and after this then we say let's copy from here you say this you say as async and then firebase user which is user will be equal to await firebase out dot current user okay and then it should return the user dot uid all right from here we will copy and paste this our sign out and it's gonna be an async firebase oh, sorry firebase odds dot sign out So this code is going to sign us out whenever we strike it. Okay, so we are done with the authentication. Now let's move to the mapping. Alright, so in the mapping, we are going to create a stateful widget. Because this is what is going to tell the user you've been logged in and it's going to tell the user you are new or you are not coming so you have to register okay so let's do a normal copy and paste of the flutter material and then create a stateful widget we call it mapping okay and then in here we say final out implementation what we just created will be called out okay so mapping mapping with this and this it's gonna be this dot art need to import it <coughs> I don't know why we have an errors here. We've imported it and uh, it's still giving error. Sorry. this no work out implementation yes so we don't have problem here what is wrong so it's final out 
implementation out of the out I don't know it's already imported and don't worry we'll get back to that so let's clear this and say state which is stateful widget this is great and then we return our mapping state as this this all right I don't know why you seen this. I've already imported it and I am still getting error. Okay, no problem. No problem. It will still continue. So alright, let me check something. Everything is okay here. No, don't worry, we won't waste much time here. Let's go. You come back to it. Enum. Art. Status. This is not signed in. And then signed in that's it all right so checking this i think there is a mistake in the spelling out implement implementation so I rather did the mistake out implement okay so left with n that is why and sorry for that so we can now move on successfully all right <laughs> and then from there we say out status out status equals to out status dot not signed in all right so what we do is to create an any state like this and say widget dot out dot get current user dot then another bracket I should call it firebase user ID and then let's open calibrasis in here let's not forget our column let me break it down and then in here you set a state 
which will say our status is equal to firebase user id is equal to now which means if the user id is equal to now is if the all status right now is not signed in so it's equal to firebase user is equal to now it means there is nothing yeah there is nothing then alt status dot not sign in then let's break it down should be alt status dot sign in like this hope you get what I'm trying to do alright so from here let's create a method and call it void sign out sign in and sign out And then let's copy paste this will be it will be signed out okay so in this you set the states and say out status is equal to all status dot signed in and then in here we will set another state and say all status is equal to all status dot not signed in okay so now we will be using the switch case to tell the app to switch to the login page if the user is new and also switch to the startup page if the user has already logged in so that um, it won't pass you through the login process anymore it will only Take you straight to the startup page so we will do so by using our switch out status and then open calibrations and say case out status does not sign in this should return a new login register page like this and then in the login register page we will send our out which is widget dot out so we'll be sending this to the login page and it's giving error because we need to import it to the login page and we'll do that later so like this and then on sign in on sign in we'll call that to will be our 
sign in this and this yeah okay so we create another case which will take us to the startup page if we have already logged in so say case out status dot sign in then what happen and then we will return a new start up page in a semicolon and then in here you see out which is equal to widget dot out and then our unsigned out going to be the sign out this like this and then it returns the container so we will call this on both pages we will call this to on the login register page and call this on the startup page and the errors will go so don't worry about the errors we see right now uh, let's now go to the login register page and call these people okay so what we'll be doing now is that we will say <coughs> final out implementation this is out just like we did and then we also say login register page this and this has this dot out and then also has this that so you go to the mapping page on sign in we call that on the login register page and i'm sure <coughs> the error will get missing and yes from here what is making an error it is you need to call avoid callback the final void callback on signed in in like this okay so now every error is gone so we don't have problem here what we have again is the startup page so we we'll go to startup page and do the same thing there here you say <laughs> final out implementation like what we just did out implementation is called out and um, also final void callback is on sign out okay and then we will call this to here you see that our page this and this not to forget our comma is this dot out and this 
dot unsigned out and there are no errors okay so that is it and then the final thing to do is now when we click on the button here it should take us to firebase it should log us in or it should register us so let's go to the login page and here on the on press that we left here let's say sign in okay we'll tackle that let the error be there and here we say sign up okay so we will call the two of them let's call them here uh, somewhere here just after the move to login yeah you should be checking them because if you make any mistake any small mistake um, it's going to give you errors okay so now we will quickly call them here and now we go we're going to say future future void future void sign in like this Sync like this, and we we'll do same thing for the sign up. All right, so let's start. Uh, it's gonna be final. Final form state will be equal to form key dot current state and then I'm going to say if form state dot validate something like this and then we will open this and then we will say form state dot save our column and in here we will use the try and catch try and then cache for error messages and e for the error it should print the error message here error plus e dot to string you shouldn't even forget our semicolon all right so that is for the cache let's get into the try for the try let's go back to our slider page and then copy our show dialog i think it starts here show dialog because it's the same thing copy and then let's paste it in the try something like this and after that we will say a new future delay future delay the duration is new duration duration which will be three seconds let me bring it down comma before and then bracket then I say 
async which opens to this should bring semicolon and in the async we say string user id equals await widget dot out dot sign in email and password we have our string here it's going to be email we've already created that in the last video and the password and let us not forget our semicolon and after this I think we can now move to the start up page so that is let's go and copy just to be a, a, a bit faster let's copy this uh, push this okay. copy and after copying let's let's do this before we forget now the slider page is now going to the login register page anymore it will now take us to our mapping page for the mapping page to check us before we are able to come back to either login page or it will take us to the startup page directly so let's say out will be out this okay so now let's go back to our login page and paste this I think we are missing okay so now it will take us to the start up page so let's see the login to start up this and it also needs an out like this which is out this all right so from there let's come here let's not use future for now let's use the void something like this and let's see let's let's copy let's be copying some of the things let's copy the final this so that we can be faster copy this to the final form state because form key dot form state and then we will say if the form state dot validate sorry validate then it opens up like this and then say form state dot save like this and then here you write our try and cache try and cache the cache we always need an e and then this and in here just like we did let's copy and paste like that not to waste much time time was already gone and in the try we will say string user id equals to await widget dot out 
dot sign up that is for the registration let me bring them down and our email is like this and like this let's not forget our semicolon all right so after this we can say that if the user ID user ID is equal to the user ID which means if the registration is successful the um, the user ID is being created so if it is created and it's equal to this user ID then do this hope you understand what I'm trying to do then we will copy the show dialog no it's not supposed to be there we'll be using it later but let me quickly put it there we'll copy the show dialog and then we'll say you should toast toast dot show and the message is going to be success registration and the context is context with a comma let me bring it down and not forget the same color and that's the duration should be a bit longer so we say toast dot length dot length uh, toast dot length no toast long like this all right and then let's copy paste the navigation this it should after this it should take us to the login page so you change the start up to log in register page like that so let's press shift alt and f to rearrange our code nicely something like this all right so i think um this will be okay for today and then this should log us in to our our startup page i think so yes so let me quickly run the app and see what we have done so far all right okay so the app is now running successfully okay so it now takes us to the login page it it moves to the mapping page and then took us because we've not registered so let's quickly register with asante benjamin one 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 at gmail dot com and the password is capital like this so let's register and see if you do okay success registration all right so let's log in asante benjamin 111 at, at gmail.com and the password is capital like this and let's try logging in if it will take us to the startup page wow so finally we are able to get through and now 
we're able to log in successfully so let's quit this app and and then run again and see if it will take us to the login page or it will take us directly to the startup page so let's start and see what happens straight up so it you will be logged in until you log out so this is what we were trying to do and we achieved it so the next video you will just delete this and um create a button navigation here that will contain our home page our cart our um, order and then account pages the four pages here so that we will start showing our vegetables fruits and stuffs thank you so much for sticking it it's a very long video and I'm, I'm, I'm very tired myself about and thank you for watching please subscribe before you leave I know this video will help us a lot thank you have a nice day bye